This video is intended to show you how to get started using the Team Project feature in Premiere Pro. The first thing you need to do is log into Adobe and go to your Creative Cloud files. I'm choosing my Creative Cloud files um, and I can see that, oh, I need to just sign in with my Enterprise account, uh, which is where this Team Project feature lives. And so I now um, am seeing all of my Creative Cloud assets. Um, and so what you need to do is for, for each new Premiere Pro project is to create a folder for all of the project assets. The way you do that is come over to the right hand side of your screen to the actions um, drop down and create a folder. I've already done that um, and my folder is called Yellowstone. Once I've got that folder I can return to the Actions drop-down screen and upload files. So I've uploaded um, a number of files and I see that most of them have descriptive names. There's one that still doesn't. Since um, you're collaborating with somebody else, it's always a good idea to make sure that all of your files are named. So I'm going to select this one and rename it to Geyser 5 and now I have all of my files renamed. Because again this is a collaborative project I need to share this folder with somebody and so I am going to click on my share options and click collaborate and now for my Yellowstone folder I'm going to invite Chris Poole uh, to, the, to be able to collaborate with me. So I'm typing in his user ID, Kapuli at Clemson.edu, and now I'm going to invite him. He will get an invitation to collaborate, and he'll um, need to accept that. So once I've got my folder set up in my Creative Cloud area, and I've got the, um, and there's my collaboration invitation, um, from Chris who has accepted so that's good. Now I know I can go to my Premiere Pro program and start a new team project. So I'm going to click on the team uh, on Premiere Pro and say that I would like to start a new team project and I'm going to call this um, Chris Jan Yellowstone and um, I'm going to come down to my um, my collaborators and I'm going to edit this and I'm going to send Chris a invitation um, so he can help me with it. Okay so now I send the invitation and I have um, my collaborators, um, Chris has been invited, and I will see that um, it's queued right now, so he will be getting an invitation, and then I will get a notice that he has uh, accepted my invitation. So while I do that, I'm going to close this. It's creating my team project and inviting Chris, and then I'm going to just pull in some of my assets from my Creative Cloud files. Um, I'm going to do that by coming down to the import bin and uh, right clicking and importing. Oh, there's my team project invitation from Chris. He's joined my Chris Jan Yellowstone project. I'm going to go back over to import and I am in my Creative Cloud files for Yellowstone and I'm going to select all of these files and open them. And then I'm just going to drag a few things over to the timeline to start my, oops, that is not what I wanted to drag over. So I'm going to select all of this and delete it. Cut. And I'm going to carefully select one of these and put this on the timeline. So now I have one picture. Let me zoom. And so I've got one picture that's sitting on the screen and then I'm going to just add the first geyser movie. And I'm just going to add the whole thing and I'm not going to worry about making a clip out of it. So now what I need to do is um, come down to the bottom of my bin and um, share my changes. And I'm going to share those and 
I'm going to ask Chris to upload a video into the um, Yellowstone folder for buffaloes. Chris, please add the buffalo movie to the folder and to the timeline. Now I'm going to share that. And I can see that I have no latest changes to get, nor do I have any changes that are um, uh, that I need to share. So now I'm waiting on Chris and he will he will be adding that folder. All right, I see that my team project has been updated um, and Chris has updated that. In order for me to see these changes, I need to come down to the bottom left of my screen and click the get latest changes. And now I see that my timeline has been updated. Um, not only do I have a new movie in my bin, um, but I have a new uh, movie on my timeline. So that is, in essence, how you uh, create a team project. Um, and don't forget, you have to initially start this by getting your assets online into your Creative Cloud files. Uh, making a folder for all of those assets, sharing the folder with your um, uh, team members, and then coming back into Premiere and starting a new team project file and inviting the same team members to that through the project. Um, so hopefully that will get you started using the team features in Premiere.